Welcome to the second speed build tutorial today on Sunday 20th of March 2011. I'm still at VWDPR in Second Live and um, music. This is Trust No One, The Contations. The second thing I wanted today, want to make today, is a sculpted ank. Just something L wanted. Which gives me the wonderful opportunity to discuss the different types of sculpties. Um, so let's spend the first few minutes of the second live tutorial to show you why there are different types of sculpties. Um, if you go to second live, you go to a place where I can rest. And you create a sculpt, click on Object Sculpted. There is one drop-down menu that is called Stitching Type. And in this you can choose between a sphere, a torus, a plane or a cylinder. Well, in Second Life the default is the sphere. Whereas I would like to say that for a sculpt the default is a plane. Let me show you why. Add Mesh. Sculpt Mesh, number three is plain and subserve. A sculpt is a an image and every pixel of the image um, gives the position of one point on the sculpt, one vertex. For example, the top left one, this one, now, this is the bottom left one. This. Top left one. Um, this would be this pixel. Gives the position of this vertex. If I move it up or down or from side to side, or back and forth. The way the sculpt is displayed in world, it will have a surface where you can see the texture that is on it, and from the other side, it is invisible. We can see that, well, go back to where I was before with a sculpt that is stitched to a plane like this island. Here I took a plane and just moved the, the higher elevations of the island upwards so it will look like the island on the map but from the bottom Well, there is now something because I said it to sphere, but if you set it to plane, it's invisible. There is nothing underneath there. Stitching um, a torus. Hmm. Let's make this a cylinder first. Instead of a plane. will um, move the sculpt around and make a seam on the opposite ends so they will be stitched together. This is what we call uh, the cylinder. Now, if we stitch it 
as a sphere, then the top ring and the bottom ring will also be stitched together to a single point. Now, <clears throat> give you the final example. Stitching it to a torus means the opposite ends are one is stitched together here, the other one is stitched together here. This will be the stitching type of a torus. The important thing why we need to understand that is um, the torus stitching is the only one that gives us a sculpt with a hole in the middle. That is something we need because an ank, for those of you who don't know what it is, has a little hole here. That is what we need. So, for today's um, speed build, we need a torus. As usual, we move it down to level of detail 1. And let's delete the higher levels first.
All right, this is the first sculpt. We need a second one for the diagonal line. Um, for the second sculpt, we can just make a cylinder. And then we have something that already looks ank-like. So let's save this. And let's see what happens if we add more levels of detail makes it look like a sucker. This is all right so far. And this one is two. So let's save it. And then
make it to our UV net maps. We have the Taurus map and the plane map and the Solenum map. The plane map is from the deleted sculpt we had before. What we need is the Taurus map, which we can save as... Middle. Let me bake the second sculpt. Just a cylinder map. And save that as. Like, uh, diagonal. Hmm. And then, as usual, you just. Upload the scalp map into Second Life and um, apply it to a print. Thank you very much.